Hey everyone, welcome back to the Bullet Train Dash here. We're about to continue our fairly new Let's Play of the original Neverwinter Night. That's right, we're here with our boy Droido Fellert. Or Fellart. I, pr I like to think he pronounces his name Droido. Droido Fellart. That's how, uh, that is how the, the halflings of this world speak. I will not, because I cannot maintain that. Uh, accent longer than probably a couple minutes at this point. Oh, there's actually a pool down here. Can I? Can I there we go. Sweet. But yeah, we just finished up the missions inside the uh, the uh, academy. The Watchadavian creatures got released. A week has passed. Act 1 has started. Oh, we're paused. And now we are back at I believe at the academy or are we at the Temple of Tear? I forget which. I think we're at the Temple of Tear. Uh, and we're about to meet up with Dester and Finthic, and we're going to get really down to the gritty of what's going on. But before we go with that, one more thing. This is where I had mentioned last time my knowledge of, I beat this game before. I know like the key points, but there's big, most of it I don't remember. I remembered the Watcher Davian creatures. I remembered three of them. I always forgot about the cockatrice. But uh, I don't remember where they're at. They're in Neverwinter somewhere. I don't remember what happens to get to them. I don't remember what order you're supposed to do them in, if there even was a specific order. All of that, I have no idea. I just know we got to get them. So there's going to be a whole lot of dialogue probably this episode where I'm gathering information. But we're going to see what kind of people we have around to mess around with. So let's step forward. Oh, then the guy will say hi. to answer the summons. Allow me to be the first to welcome you to the Halls of Justice. Halls of Justice, that's where we are. This is a mistake, Fenthic. We know nothing about this whelp. How can you so blindly trust them? Uh, that was not voice, right? Dester, please. Dordo showed great promise throughout his training at the academy and has done even more in the weeks since the attack. Rarely has a recruit shown, shown such potential after so short a training period. If we were to have any hope of finding a cure for the wailing death, we need people like Droido in service of Netherwinter. It's Droido. Get it right? All right, well, oh, I have options, though. I'm honored to serve Neverwinter Finthick. I only serve if I'm well paid. I seem to have been drafted into this. Why should I care about this? So my dude's not a bad guy, because he's very Robin Hood-esque. He wants, he wants to help people. He's he's just really good at doing that behind the back. So I'm honored to serve. He's honored to serve. Uh, if I can find the key. Here we go. And I still say we should put our faith in my hellmite brethren rather than this unproven boy. Oh, my God. That looked like a different language for a second. Erebeth holds Droido in the highest regards, Dester, and Lord Nasher placed her in charge, not you. Oh, snap! Burn, motherfucker! Please, Droido, you must forgive Dester. I ain't proven shit. The plague takes a heavy toll on us all, a toll made even greater in the past weeks by the attack of the Academy and the loss of the cure. <laughs> he has no right to speak to me like that. See, I'm a nice guy, but I would say three, but that's a bit more evil. I'm like, he has no right. He needs to back the fuck off. You, you do not understand, Droido. The true horror of the Wailing Dead has yet to be felt within the Academy's walls. The quarantine of Neverwinter has done little to halt the spread of the Wailing Death. Bonfires burn night and day as the city play, blah, 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 as the city watch disposes of the dead. Yet the corpses pile ever higher. All we, it's all we can do to contain the chaos and maintain order within the various city districts. Rumors run rampant, and the cit the citizens are on the verge of panic. You know what? It says a lot about this town. If corpses are piled high, we don't know why this curse is going on. Rumor is that we had a cure and it's gone and they're still not panicking. Pretty chill people. I gotta say, Neverwinter sounds pretty nice. Aside from the plague and, and deaths. Yeah, I'd, I'd avoid Neverwinter. Because the plague cannot be cured by the priests or clerics of the city, some claim it is an unnatural thing sent by an unknown enemy bent on destroying Neverwinter. I don't remember what voice I gave him a second ago. The attack on the academy these past weeks will only make things worse, Finthick. Finthick? I said it right, Finthick. Once once people learn how Arabeth lost the cure through her lack of faith. Dester, I will not have you question the faith of my true love. Arabeth believed the academy to be a safe haven. Anyway, it is not our place to discuss such things. Lady Arabeth is in charge, appointed by Lord Nasher himself to stop the Wailing Death. You must talk to her, Droido, as soon as possible. Uh, no, I got questions for you, bro. It's important that you speak with Arabeth soon, Droido. 
But I will not refuse your request to answer your questions. Or ask your questions. Boom! I will answer the best I may. Though there are many things only Arabeth has the authority to discuss. Alright. Tell me about the attack. We learned very little in the week after the attack occurred. You're one of the few who survived, Roydo. The instructors were slaughtered and only a handful of students were left. You must uphold the legacy of the Academy, Droido. God, they're throwing my name out everywhere. But must uphold the legacy of the Academy, but I know you will be equal to the task. Rarely has a recruit shown as much promise as you. There is little else I can tell you about the attack, I fear. We have yet to uncover the identity of the mysterious assailants. Perhaps Arabeth can tell you more. Anything else? I uh, still want to ask you some questions, motherfucker. Tell me about the plague. Despite the citywide quarantine, the Wailing Death spreads quickly. Even here in the Halls of Justice, we have felt the plague's touch, as you can see by the dead bodies. Uh, oh. <laughs> I didn't even read that line. I just said, like, there's there's bodies all around here. Like, as you can see by the afflicted all around us. Well, son of a bitch. Dester and I do what we can to comfort these poor souls, but we can do little else. Not even Neverwinter's most powerful priest can heal or raise or raise those who contract the wailing death. Aren't you afraid of catching the plague yourself? Our faith protects us. Only the faithless need fear the wailing death, as I and my hellmates have proclaimed many times. Dester, please. No one yet knows how the plague spreads. Through contact with the infected does not seem to be the catalyst. Even so, people are burning the bodies and locking themselves indoors just to be safe. Or to hide the fact that they're panicking, fucker. People are scared. See? Told you. They're on the verge of panic and even open rebellion, and the city watch struggles to keep order. The panic will get worse when people learn that the attack on the academy and how Arabeth lost the cure. Man, fuck that dude. I can't remember if he's a good guy or a bad guy or not, but if I get to kill him, I won't be upset. Alright, you already said that shit. Uh, any more questions? Well, you know about the cure? What's your role in all this? That's what I want to know. I do whatever Lady Arabeth commands. Whipped! Lord Nasher himself appointed her to oversee our efforts and to find a cure. He could not have made a better choice. Of course you would say that. Arabeth has placed me in charge of discovering who was behind the attack on the Academy. If you ever come across such information, you may report it directly to me. Motherfucker. Are, are, you, are you hiring me to go find that information? And of course I do what I can to ease the suffering of those within Castle Never who have been afflicted with the Wailing Death, although they are beyond my power to say. <laughs> I'm going to help them, but I can't help them. Uh, where can I find Arabeth? Lady Arabeth is in the chamber beyond the north doors. There she works tirelessly to put an end to the plague that ravages Neverwinter. Oh, shit. Up, oh, real quick. Hold on one moment. Okay, cool. Oh, god damn it. There we go. Sorry about that. Uh, Lady Arabeth chamber beyond the north. Yep, okay, sure. Uh, let me ask you more questions. Tell me about Arabeth. Lady Arabeth de Tilmerand is a paladin who serves Tyr, as do I. She is young, but her faith, courage, and intelligence are beyond question, as is her beauty. Eh? Eh? Wink and a nod right there. You let your feelings for her cloud your judgment, Finthick. Your lover is not without her flaws. Arabeth and I are of one heart and soul, it is true. But that does not make her any less a paragon of virtue. None who serve Neverwinter are more capable than my lady Arabeth. Arabeth's pretty badass, I'll tell you that. I, I do remember th even the whole game going... She's pretty boss. Uh, I was, I'm cool with Arabeth. Uh, and I, I do remember a little bit of what happens to Arabeth, Thin Thick. I don't remember anything about what happens to this cat, though. I hope I get to fuck him up. I don't know. We'll find out. Is there anything else you need? No, nah, I'm good. Go with the blessing of tear upon you. Whoop. Uh, tab. There's a nurse. Nurse. Actually, it was as Destro was talking your shit. time more productively. Instead of speaking with me, you should be out looking for the missing Waterdavian creatures. So should you, fuckface. I suspect my Helmite brethren will prove far more useful in this task than a mere hireling. But who am I to defy the desires of Lady Arabeth? Hi. Oh, hell. I forgot about the fact that my screen has to be modified. All right, uh, just one minute. There's going to be a hard cut here. I got to fix something so that I can actually rotate my screen. And I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Mm, excuse me. All right, we are good to go now. Maybe. Oh, I'm pausing. We're going to... It will be over soon. You know, oh, patient. Oh, god damn. Okay. Oh, yeah, I wasn't done searching. Was there anything I can do? Nope. All right, let's go through this door. Let's go... Say what up. I think to Lady Arabeth. 
Yeah. Listen to me. Welcome to you. I regret I did not get a chance to introduce myself properly to you while you were training at the Academy. I am Lady Erebeth de Tilmerand, paladin in the service of Tyr, and the right hand of Nasha Alagondar, Lord of Neverwinter. I have been waiting for you. You were waiting for me? Why? I have been following your progress since your early training at the Academy. Neverwinter has need of one like you if we are to survive the Wailing Death. The attack on the Academy doused the one faint spark of hope the city had. I need you to help recover that which we have lost. Like I said, I'm, I'm here to help the city, but I'm also, she's pretty boss. I, I, I'll flirt with her if it gives me the chance. But yeah, it'll be an I honor. I knew I could count on you. There are many rumors about the plague, but if you are to aid me in this, it is important you know the truth about the Wailing Death. Our divine healers can do nothing to help those afflicted by the Wailing Death. And even our most powerful magic cannot raise those who succumb to the illness. But a short time ago, we had word that Kelvin Blackstaff Arunson, the famous Archmage of Waterdeep, had discovered a potential cure, one that might be concocted from the essence of four rare and magical creatures. I've heard such rumors before. Under great secrecy, the four creatures were gathered in Waterdeep, then sent here to Neverwinter. As strange a menagerie as any has ever set eyes on. A cockatrice, an intellect devourer, a yonti, and a dryad. I don't think that's as weird as she makes it out to be. I mean, the yonti for sure. The intellect devourer, yeah, you don't see those too often. But a cockatrice, that's common, commonplace. And a dryad, not too uncommon. I don't know, though. I don't know how it is up in Neverwinter. Given this part of Faerun, it might actually be quite rare. I like how I was all like, I've heard these rumors before. And she's like, under great secrecy. It's like, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll shut up now. All right, continue. I ordered them sent to the Academy, Neverwinter's renowned training institution for adventurers <laughs> of every ilk. I once studied there myself, and I thought the instructors and students were loyal to Lord Nasher. So you think someone at the Academy betrayed you? The Academy may have been betrayed from within. Or perhaps I simply put too much faith in the instructors, students, and staff to keep this news secret, as Desta claims. Ah, uh, don't listen to that fuck You face. were there. You saw the slaughter. The attack caught us unprepared. You are one of only a handful of survivors from the carnage of the Academy. Benthic and Desta arrived with reinforcements. But during the confusion of battle, the water Davian creatures disappeared into the streets of Neverwinter, and our hopes of a cure vanished with them. Let me guess, you want me to get those creatures back? Your task in this is twofold. First, find the water Davian creatures and bring them back to me, at any cost. We need to harvest components from these creatures if we are to concoct a cure for the Wailing Death. This is your most important duty. I remember there being something about this because three of those creatures are evil. The Yonti, well, the Cockatrice is more, I think, more neutral, but the Yonti and the Intellect of Hour are evil creatures, but the Dryad's a good creature. Can't kill a good creature, so I think there's a way we can get around that, but I don't know. We'll find out. Second, we must discover who was behind the attack on the Academy. Any evidence <clears throat> you uncover in this matter should be brought to Fenthic. He is the one assigned the task of unmasking our hidden enemy. You Why'd proved you choose yourself me? during the attack on the Academy. Your bravery and skill are obvious, and I know you are not in league with those who seek to destroy Neverwinter. How does she know that? The City Watch can do little to help in this search. Their numbers are barely enough to keep order in the streets of Neverwinter. Others, like Benthic or myself, have duties that require we stay here. All right, how do we know the creatures are even still alive? By all accounts, the creatures escaped the battle at the Academy unharmed. And there are many reports of strange beasts pouring in from every district of the city. All right, yeah, they're probably still alive. You must recover the Water Davian creatures if we are to survive the Wailing Death. All right, uh, should the City Watch be helping the with this? The City Watch can do little to help in this search. Oh, you sure, you told me that. You during the attack on the Academy. All right, I'll do as you command. your discretion in this matter. News of the attack and strange creatures roaming the city will only add to the panic and chaos already in the streets. I I won't say shit. To aid you in your task, I will give you this stone of recall. Oh fuck! Forever that. You will find it to be a valuable tool in your. You can activate the Oops. stone of recall at any time, and it will instantly teleport you <clears throat> and anyone in your service back here to the Temple of Tyr. Fuck yeah! Any time you go through the teleportation portal in Tyr's temple. 
It will instantly send you and any companions back to the place your stone was last activated. That's handy. That's actually exactly what I would say too. There is little else I can tell you about this mission. Whenever you need provisions, come speak to me again, and I can sell them to you through the store here at Tears Temple. Take All right. this gold so you can buy the necessary supplies for your mission. Remember to stock up on healing potions before you go. They will be critical to your survival. Oh, but I've been asked a little more about the lady I'm working for. I am for. not one to boast of my accomplishments. Suffice to say that I am a paladin of Tyr, and I am honored Lord Nasha has placed me in charge of finding a cure for the Wailing Death. Is there anything else? Uh, okay. Uh, I want to ask I you some questions. I will do my best to answer what questions I may. More information on the Water Davian creatures and the cure. That's what I want to know. It was Kelvin Blackstaff Arunson, the Archmage of Waterdeep, sure. who discovered the potential cure. However, we have not even had a chance to test it. The creatures were taken from us too quickly. If Blackstaff is right, the cure requires <clears throat> feathers from a cockatrice, the brain of an intellect devourer, blood from a yonti, and a lock of hair freshly plucked from a dryad's head. It's one weird fucking concoction. Is there more you would know? Tell me about the cockatrice. Any cockatrice resembles a hybrid of chicken, lizard, and bat. They are repulsive animals that can petrify opponents. You must be extremely cautious when dealing with this beast. Is there more you would know? Uh, yeah. Any information Yanti. about the creature? The Yanti are a race of beings whose bloodlines are a mixture of human and snake. They can be any combination of snake and human characteristics. They are highly intelligent, and many of the creatures practice magic. It is rumored that some even have the ability to alter their shape. <gasps> is there more you would know? Yeah, keep Any going. Information intellect about the devourer. Like the intellect devourer is a truly horrible entity, resembling a large fleshy brains with legs. It can dominate the minds of its victims so that it may devour their very thoughts. I love intellect devourers. They're... It, it, funky looking little creatures is there more you would know and the dryad she is like most of her kind a beautiful elusive forest sprite whose charms transcend mere physical appearance out of charity she came willingly to help us when she learned of our need however the city is strange to her and unsettling when the attack came i suspect she fled in panicked terror and now is lost among the unfamiliar streets and buildings of Neverwinter. If you find her, treat her with the respect and kindness she deserves. She is very brave to leave her wood to come to our aid. That's true. For her to actually, for a dryad to leave their wood voluntarily, that's pretty, pretty impressive. She's, that would be a special dryad. Yeah, we'll, we'll throw some respect that way. Is there more you would oh. know? Uh, Any information about the creatures I can provide to help you locate them will be freely given, of course. What right do you have to kill the use? What right do you have to use kill to kill these creatures to save yourselves? When I played my druid, I remember asking that because it fit. My guy's kind of like, all right, we got to help people, so we're going to skip that question. That's all I need to know about the water else creatures. I can help you with? Up, uh, da 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 da. Come with one death. Talk about the it attack. Was a slaughter, as you well know. Only a handful of hundreds training and teaching at the academy survive. As yet, we have not discovered the identity of those behind the attack. But the enemy knew the Water Davian creatures were there. How they came by that knowledge is a troubling prospect. Take any information concerning who may be behind the attack straight to Fenthic. He is the one I have placed in charge of unmasking our hidden enemy. Is there something else I can help you with? Oh, where can I get supplies? I have no equipment to spare. All we have was given to the city watch to help them maintain order. Don't you just stop in the middle? Perhaps I could save you some things from the temple city armory. City has all manner of shops to supply you with whatever you might need. Yes, I will arrange to say whatever I can when you... Come back next. Ask for temple services. If I don't have something, the city core has all manners of. Is there something else I can help all right, you? Say goodbye. Farewell. May Tear guide your steps. Sweet. So I should have a recall stone somewhere in here. Stone of recall. You're dropped right there. Let's talk to her again. Welcome. Do you have news of the missing one? Temple services. All right. Let's do some some cleanup around here. I can't wear the chain shirt, but I can sell the chain shirt. Um, 
I don't need a club. Don't need a spike kit. Oh. You won't buy this? Alright. You'll buy the copper necklace, right? There we go. Can I just right click? Nope. Can I double click? Nope. Alright. Sell that. Sell that. What is this? Potionable strength will keep. Ale will sell it. Gloves of spellcraft. Sell it. Oh, no, 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 no. God damn it. There we go. Come here. Arrow. And eh, we'll, we'll equip the arrow. These are malachite, right? Or greenstones? Good enough. Stone of recall. We're going. God damn it. We're going to put you down here so I, I don't have to worry about you. Um, sell the books. Is there anything worth buying over here? Weapons, not really. Potions, magical item. Ooh, magic item. A ring of protection. How much do I have? I don't have enough for anything. All right. Let's, let's hop on. Let's talk to Sergo. Hello to you. Greeting, greetings, Droido. Arabeth has instructed me to provide whatever assistance I can in your mission to recover the missing Waterdavian creatures. However, my magic is not of a healing nature. My skills are tied to the teleportation portal in this temple and the stone recall in your backpack. Is there something I can do for you, Droido? Uh, now I'm good. I don't, I don't really care what you got to say. Who's that? It's just a nurse. Tommy Undergallows. Hey, do you need a henchman? I do, but we're not going to get you. He's a rogue. I'm a rogue. I don't need a rogue. I need someone who can heal me or take hits for me. Who are you? Oh, please, can you help me? I can't do a female voice. Uh, oh, please, can you help me? You're with the city militia, aren't you? These guards at the gate said I might get some help over here, but I don't know if they were serious or not. Whoa, slow down. I'll hear what you have to say. Thank you. I don't mean to take away from your duties. I mean, you're a guard, right? <laughs> no. Probably got your hands full, but this is important. It's the Peninsula District. I live there and, oh, it's just horrible. The killing. Everyone running for their lives. It's horrible. Uh... So I'm tired now, that's not concerning me. Alright, easy up. Tell me tell me when you're ready. Something's going on in the Peninsula District. Maybe it's one of our creatures going crazy. Okay, okay. I came from the Peninsula District. That's where my home is. Was. Now it's too dangerous to go there. The prisoners are killing everyone. It's awful. Oh, that's right. It's the jail district. You may have heard of this. Give me... Give some background on the... Yeah. Well, it's kind of complicated. The Peninsula District houses the Neverwinter Prison. The families for the guards and such live around it. It's been safe for years. It changed a little while ago. The guards never came home from work one day, and now the prisoners are everywhere. First the plague, now the threat of a knife in your belly. How do the prisoners get loose? I don't know. I just don't know. Captain Alephon has always run such an efficient operation. I hope nothing has happened to him. I mean, I don't know him personally or anything, but I hear he's a good man. I know he would not have allowed this to happen. Uh, if it isn't anyone in the district able to fight back? The plague has cut down the guard in the area. It was safe while people were locked up, but now it's just overwhelming. Some are trying, though. Sato Sibyl, yeah, good luck ever bouncing that right, is there. She's one of Lord Nash's trusted, but she doesn't have any people to work with. She's mainly just guarding the gate out of the district now. All right, I'll see what I can do. You stay here where it's safe. Thank you. I can't say how much this means to me. Do you need directions? I'll tell you just to be sure. The Peninsula District is through the gate to the southwest side of the city core near the Moonstone Mask. Oh, I forgot about the Moonstone Mask. There are guards posted, but I'm sure they will let you through. And away she walks. All right. What we got around here? Hallion? What you got? Hello. Hello. Can I help you? I cannot be away from duty for long. Wait, are you a new recruit? Aye, they're replacing the ones we lost. I have a few questions. The more information you have, the less risk you'll pose to the rest of us on duty. I'll help if I can. If you hear anything odd, rumors? All I hear is how bad, bad things are getting. Let me try it again. All I hear is how bad things are getting. How many more men we've lost. It's like a war, except you can't make the whaling surrender. With us gone, the, dis the different... With us gone, the different districts each hold their intrigues, I'm sure. 
All I know is that we're fighting a losing battle, even here in the core. I want something else. Oh, uh, you have any information about places in Neverwinter? Oh, I don't, I don't care about any of that. Stay alive out there, recruit. Thank you, sir. Citizen, citizen. You look like you have a name, Isabon. Yep. And Winthorpe. Okay. Welcome to Ooh. you. Yes. <laughs> is there something you require? Please do be brief. As, un as your unwashed appearance leads me to worry what infections you might be carrying. Oh. Oh, is that so? Bitch, you're lucky I'm chaotic good. I suppose one still needs to breathe in midst one in the morning. Perhaps in helping you, I'm also helping my friend's spirit find rest. Require, uh, you, uh, is there anything odd you've heard? The gossip of the nobility need not concern you. And likely it wouldn't be the type of information you want anyway. Boop. I said goodbye. Forgot to say it out loud. Fare thee well. I must return to my private mourning. It is the only way I have to grieve. Well, if you would fucking actually not been a bitch, I might have helped. Mulan the, admin Mulan the administrator. No, nope, we're not going there yet. Uh, bring up the map. Zoom in just a little bit. Alright, so that's Black Lake. Docks. The Peninsula. And the Beggar's Nest. Ooh, Cloak Tower. Let's go over there. I think that's the, uh, oh, that's the Mage's Tower, isn't it? Let's go find out. Bunch of citizens. Is that Nyatar or Nyatar? Yeah, that's a Cloak Tower. I'm not a mage, so going there is useless. Nyatar. Nyatar. Blessings of the Earth Mother Shantia and the Tree Father Sylvanus upon you. I am Nyatar in the service of nature. This was my boy when I first played through. Again, Druid. And me and him, he's tight. Hello, I am Druido Felat. I don't remember how I said he would say it. I welcome your well mannered address. Ask what you will, and I shall respond as I am able. What's your position here? I see to it the city does not tip too far from balance. It can that concerns for natural elements are kept a priority. It's not easy in these times. Ooh, I, I might be able to persuade him. You would not understand. Only a brother in nature could fully appreciate what needs to be done. How vital my task is. No, too ahead, give me tell me. Perhaps I was too quick to judge. Oh fuck. I did I actually didn't expect that to work. You seem sincere enough. You may be able to understand why this is so important. Many people are failing to Falling to the plague, but animals suffer as well. They suffer in cages in a Black Lake District Lodge. There is a zoo in Neverwinter. It is operated by Hunter and his noble, quote-unquote, entourage. It is not clean, it is not compassionate, and it is not right. The animals within are mistreated. This can't be new, not during the plague. It is not new. I was working to have it closed, but the plague has delayed that indefinitely. The officials I spoke with are among the plague dead. Oh, yeah. That would definitely set you back on your plans. It has given the zoo a reprieve. Now they know the law is turning against them. They now know the law was turning against them, but now they have time to cover their actions. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what they would do. I fear the animals will simply be killed and made into trophies. All creatures deserve charity. This bear, panther, wolf, and lion, all four should be rescued. Oh, uh, what's the purpose of the zoo? They claim they want common people to see the beauty of nature, but in truth, the families of certain nobles are allowed in. There are humane ways to do such things, but I suspect this zoo is to intend to show their superiority over the creatures held there. For all the care they give the animals held within, they may as well place simply their heads on the walls. Alright, what do you know about the hunter? Montgomery sure shot Weatherson. His family has been a great advocate of animal rights, but Montgomery abandoned that philosophy when his father died. He gauges his progress as a man by what he has mastered, his family and his business and nature, creature by creature. He is out of balance. That is a heavy fucking statement. Several nobles live vicariously through him. Their influence protects him and what little pressure I have been able to apply through the law. From what little pressures I have. You know what? Yeah, fuck it. I'll help these guys. I'm a rogue, but... I'll always be slight, slight druidic. I was hoping you would say that. Let me give you a few things to help you in the task. I have long thought about what is required. This key will grant you access to the zoo. My animal companion found it and made copies. They could, and you made copies. I thought you said the companion did. Guards may try to stop you, but doors will not. 
This is a transport via plant scroll. Use it on the larger tree uh, near the zoo, and any of the animals you lead there will be teleported here. Oh, cool. And, oh, do I have a way to cast that spell? Okay. And this... And take this scented fetish. It will let you speak to the animals with the skill of a druid or ranger. Please, leave these animals with large tree and freedom. Alright. I got stuff now. That is the zoo key. Scented fetish. Oh, wait, nope. Oop. Cast spell. What, what, what spell? <laughs> okay. Um... I have transport via plants. I don't want to cast it yet. Examine. All right. We're going to go pro- Oops, shit. We'll probably end up doing- I'll try to close that for some reason. We're probably going to do that one first. Where am I heading right now? This door is barred from the other side. He borrowed. Passage from the city of Neverwinter is forbidden. We cannot risk the plague being spread to the surrounding countryside. Has anyone left recently? No one has exited the city recently. I would not allow it. The danger to the outside lands is too great. All right, you yeah, know, that's legit. I'm not going to harass this guy. Well met, citizen. Uh, what is this? Refugee shelter. The shining knight arms and armor. The trade of blades. And the moonstone mask. All right. Oh, I was watching the minimap. I wasn't watching where I was running. A priest of helm. Go chat with this bro. You know your dude's a to you. dick. That dude looks fucked up. Speak what you will, friend. I want to ask some questions. Have you, have you have you collected a lot of charitable donations? Of course. I have acquired some measure of gold from the generous. What business do you have asking me about it? Uh, no, I'm not going to do that. All right, let's just let's get it. Oh. Would you like a blessing? You know what? I have nothing against Helm. He's got a dick for a dude running it, but you know this dude, sure. Go right ahead. That actually did something. Well, thought it did. I don't seem to have any. Oh, oh God. What are all these? Oh, I hit. What? How did I bring that up? I don't know what this is. How do I get rid of that? Oh, I know what it is. It's a console, but... There we go. Okay, cool. Apparently, if you hit tab, you get a console in this game. I did not know that. Uh... The Doomsayer? I was tell this dude should... Parent coin, friend. Courtesan? Bonjour. Oh, hello. Hello. Hi, now. How about a lad like yourself? Last time me even a pleasure. Only a gold or two. No more. Yeah, nope. Bah. Please help me. Girls don't normally make bag where we don't make. Spare some kindness. Get off you, Mercy. <laughs> Quick and painless death. I have nothing to give. Here, take a gold. Sure, I'll, I'll, I'll give her a gold. I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a youth of the night. I understand how it is. Your babies. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not touching that or her with the 10-foot pole. Oh, puppy dog. It's a pooch. Let's go in. Hello? Durga. Yes, is there something you need? The shiny knight has what you need. Oh, let's see what you got for sale. Oh, shit, he's got a lot for sale. Oh, uh, ooh, belt. Great Archer's Belt. Greater Swordsman Belt. Greater Brawler's Belt. This, I can't buy any of this shit. I'm just gonna politely walk out. He's a nice, ooh, barrel. I got a gold. All right, let's go, let's go visit. Fuck out of my way. Go visit Moon, the Moonstone Mask. Yep. I think I remember it having a much more fanciful intro. Ooh. Ophelia, Giles, patron. Oh yeah, any Torgo. All right, let's go talk to her. She's clearly well, in charge. Welcome to the Moonstone Mask. 
I am Opala, your host, Femme Favea of Fine Spirits and Entertainment. Well, all right. You'll have stiff competition for attention tonight, I fear. Many more men than women are seeking comfort around here tonight, it seems. Well, hello. I am Droid O. Feller. Will you answer some questions? Well, you are quite the charmer, aren't you? Ask away. Oh, uh, what kind of place do you run here? It's a place of comfort and understanding. That has many different meanings to different people, so we have a wide variety of services. I can't expect you to understand if this is your first visit. Most of what goes on here is quite innocent. Most. Perhaps you would be interested in partaking of our backroom areas, or maybe you could be of use... No, I talk too freely. Oh, you can trust me. What you got to say? Yeah, I suppose there's no harm in me telling you what I need. Maybe you can help, if you're good enough. Bitch, I'm the best. You see, I'm an avid collector. My position here lets me hear about all kinds of interesting things, and I occasionally hire people to get them for me. Currently, I want a few pieces of art liberated. The owners of this have made disparaging remarks about me, and I would like to express my displeasure. You know what? I like her. We'll probably do this. Tell me about the art objects. One is a statuette of someone's mother, or some such. Lord Androd Golden has it at his estate. He lobbied to ban city guards from visiting the Moonstone Mask. Ha! Huh, the jerk! Another is a portrait of Sir Reginald Rumbottom III. His nephew, Lord Tom... Tom's? I think it's supposed to be Thomas Rumbottom, has repeatedly lobbied to have us close down. He's a bit... insecure, I think. Well, with a name like Rumbottom. The last is an urn stolen from me some years ago. The man that took it apparently got stuck here in the quarantine. Hodge is his name. If you agree, I'll let you know... If you agree, I'll tell you what I know about their whereabouts. Keep in mind, if I had exact information, I wouldn't need you. I will give them. Give me the details. Excellent! The Rumbottom Estate is in the Black Lake District, while Androd maintains his home in the docks. Both are notoriously paranoid. I can sneak in there and get this shit. Last I heard, Hodge may have been in the Black Lake District. No doubt he's fortified himself in some noble's home, but I don't know which. I'm not asking you to kill, just bring me items. I'll reward you well. Now I'm interested in the back room. Well, we have many pleasant and... Uh, we have many pleasant employees that are willing to offer their comfort and sympathy to you in this troubled time. They can cater to both men and women and are quite skilled at conversation, artful pursuits, and many other forms of diversion. The level of interaction must be agreed upon by both parties, and there is a small matter of compensation for the time spent as well. A common body house? I am outraged. Nope, I want permission. I'm sure you do. Very well. First, you will need a writ from Olaf in the Temple of Tears, certifying you are plague-free. Just a precaution, you understand. Return to me uh, when you have it, and I will grant you a key, as well as your, uh, take your 200 gold donation. Pretty standard fare. Thank you. I'll return directly. Here's the paper. Olaf will recognize it. I'll make sure the back room is ready for you. We may never actually do that part, but I just... I, I'm, I'm a kid of the shadows. I'm a good guy, but this is exactly where I would have grown up. Let's go talk to this dude. Hey, I'll tell you. What can I get you? I need a pass coin. They're 200 gold each. Remember, you'll need to talk to a failure for that shift there. Oh, let me see your wares. God damn it, everything here is expensive. All right. Hey, Giles, what you doing? Is that Buffy what? need help? Oh, that's fair. Patron, patron, patron. All right. Let's bail out of the Moonstone Mass. Oh, god damn it! <laughs> Alright. So now we've got a pretty... Oh, the Trade of Blades. Let's go to the Trade of Blades. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm getting stuck. I'm playing by minimap, which does not work. There we go. About 40 minutes in and we've yet to even go into our combat role. But, like I said, this episode's going to be a whole lot of talking and gaining information and getting a, a run of that cabbage. Your name is Greetings. Cabbage. Okay. Let's go here. Yeah, this episode's going to be a lot of talking, a lot of gathering information, figuring out what our next play is going to be. This is the tavern. I'll find someone here. Dalian Red Tiger. You're a big motherfucker. Greetings. 
I see you are not yet infected by the plague that ravages Neverwinter. Among such suffering and misery, we who are not yet afflicted must be grateful for our health. Hyde is absolutely not the voice I expected from this guy, but I love it. Who are you? I am Dalian Red Tiger of the Utgard tribes of the no Frozen North, but it has been over a year since I left my people and came home to Neverwinter. Now I earn my living as a blade for hire. Quite well spoken for a half-orc. My father was an orc, and the blood of his inhuman race runs through my veins, but I was raised by my mother among the tribes of the Utgard. I'm sorry, but I don't know much about the Utgard tribes. There are some in the city who call my people savages and barbarians, but they know nothing of the Uthgar. We are great warriors and hunters, following the herd and living off the land. My tribe is noble, but small. Among them there was little chance for a young warrior to prove himself or earn a wife. But I am young and strong, and my people are renowned for their skill in battle. Here in Neverwinter, I found work on the docks as a guard for the cargo shipments being transported. What happened? The coming of the plague changed everything. The quarantine halted. Thought I hit something. The quarantine halted uh, all incoming and outgoing ships. There was no work and no money. I should have left the docks then. Many of the dock workers were afflicted. Men I had come to show, know as friends. I stayed to ease their suffering, but in the end, I could do nothing to save them from the wailing death. Oh, that's kind of sad. With my friends dead, there was no reason to stay in the docks. Not with things getting worse. Now I earn a living with my axe, a freelance mercenary. What do you mean by about the docks getting worse? Quarantine trap ships and ports swelling the number of pirates and other criminals in the district, men with no honor. And with the city guard focused on the play, these men have seized control of the docks. An Uthgart warrior no knows no fear, but I will not dishonor my tribe. I refuse to serve these men. I will not become a common thug or murderer. Anything else you can tell me? Before I left, I, he uh, before I, left, I heard talk in the district of an auction to be held at Jim Seedy's Tavern. Something besides the usual stolen merchandise, illegal goods, and helpless slaves sold his filthy den of sin. Word quickly spread on the streets. Perhaps I could have learned more before I left, but I had no interest in such transactions. I'm a warrior, not a smuggler. The less I can tell you about the docks, but I know the district is dangerous. You tend to go, you should hire a blade. I'm actually looking for someone to help me. I'm no stranger to battle or bloodshed, but I am a warrior with honor. I will not undertake any sinister mission. Had a desire to work, I could have found employment back on the docks. Uh, I work for Arabeth, but my mission is confidential. I can understand that. If you're working for Arabeth, then I am certain your mission must be of great importance. Arabeth's reputation is well known throughout the city. I have, so I have no fear that your mission will bring dishonor to me. I will work for you if we can agree upon a fair price for my services. I am not one to boast of my own abilities, yet the skill and ferocity of the Uthgart tribe are well known throughout the north. I doubt you will find any other axeman who, uh, for hire who is my equal. Only 200 gold pieces and I am your willing servant. Huh. 200, huh? I like this dude, but I want to see who else is here. As you wish. You can always come find me unless I join up with someone who has needs of my skills. I actually really like that dude. He could take a beating. And I can slip in behind people. Sharwin. I believe she's a cleric, if I remember correctly. Hey, do you need a hint? Who is this? Some poor soul straggling in off the diseased streets? Are you here to join our ranks and beg for an employer? Or oh. are you actually here to hire someone? Oh, no. This is the person I ran with when I was my druid. Because she was, she was interesting. Uh, she's an archer. I'm not even going to bother talking to her. Oh, I'm not talking to her now. Don't call me a lord. I thought there was a... Oh, I forgot I had a pimp mustache. Oh, snap. Uh, Grimna... Uh, Grimna? Yeah. I know you. You were at the academy during the slaughter of the students. Oh, this guy you sounds fucking the vicious. Game. Who are you? I am Grimna, a monk of the owner of the long death. Ooh. The Grizzly Accounts Academy is no great secret, not to those who seek out such things. Tell me, as you stood amidst the blood-soaked corpses of your fellow students, did you gaze upon the face of death? Did you look into his cold eyes and feel his icy touch upon your soul? You seem a bit creepy, Grimaw. Many of the members of my order, many find the members of my order unsettling, for we embrace death in all its incarnations. Yet in times like these, my skills are in demand. What kind of skills does a monk of the Order of the Long Death possess? I am a disciple of torment and a messenger of death, the Silent Lord. 
I bring the absolution of pain and anguish to my enemies and prepare them for a brutal and purifying end. This dude's totally evil. I'm walking away. I am not turning my back to this dude. Fuck you, dude. I don't trust you. Whoop. That dude's fucking freaking... Hey, grass. You don't interrupt a trade of Blades Merc without good reason. I'm gonna ask some questions. I suppose, make it quick. I've never... I have never so many places to be. Yeah, right? I don't even understand this dude. Uh... Arabeth tolerates mercenaries? Watch your mouth, friend. It hasn't gone unnoticed that when a few of the city guards die, she hired outsiders like you instead of coming here. Just because you work for the highest bidder doesn't mean we wouldn't put it online for this city. We're going to go for action. <laughs> now you're talking my language. There is one place. Hmm. I don't know. That place is pretty much just for weapon fighting. No fancy stuff, just straight out brawling. You can tell me. I'm up for it. Ah, fine. Ain't no big thing. If you're not good enough, you get beat down anyway. Just don't blab about it. It's a club for fighting. We call it the gauntlet. If you want action, it's where you go. I can sell you a pass if you want. <laughs> Fit to go. Uh. Oops, wrong button. Inventory. At 338 gold. Here's my 50. And here's your pass. Don't say where you got it, although I doubt they'll ask. Nobody talks about the gauntlet, but people show up anyway. The board the board laid bear tavern in the is in the Black Lake District. Give this pass to the bartender. <laughs> Good luck. You'll need it. Alright, cool. Now I wanna hire that dude. Mercenary, mercenary. Body knot glinkle. Alright, I got no more about this guy. Is that a crossbow he's holding? Hello there. You don't have the look of one of those Neverwinter soldiers about you. Neither do you show any evidence of having contracted the plague. You do have a certain bearing about you that distinguishes you from ordinary citizens. Based on my observations, I venture the hypothesis that you are an adventurer, correct? Uh, yeah. Who are you? I am Body Knot Glinkle, a gnome sorcerer. Hey, fellow gnome! He is my height. I'll be damned. Gnome sorcerer from the island of Lantan who has recently traveled here to Neverwinter. Lantan? Is that the place where all those crazy inventions come from? My homeland does have a reputation for producing marvelous machines and outlandish contraptions not otherwise known in Faerun. We Lantanese are people gifted by analytical principles of science, observation, reason, and logic. But don't, but don't allow yourself to be misled by rumors and heresy. Or hearsay. Heresy? Same thing. <laughs> we aren't all kooky adventurers, as some of have you believe. I myself am a sorcerer, for example. Thought Lantan looked down on magic. Many people do not disparage magic, though many do not understand it. However, in my land, we rely on the arcane far less than other peoples of Faerun. We prefer to seek scientific solution to a problem rather than a magical one. Often through observation and experimentation, a problem can be solved without resorting to magecraft. Of course, sometimes a little touch of the arcane is a good thing. When the situation is appropriate, I do not hesitate to use my powers to do it all. I may be a lantern, but at first and foremost, a sorcerer. Oh, uh, that's cool. I don't want to bring a sorcerer along because I can't keep you alive. Lunu Lin Ooh. Linu Lanero? Please now, I already told you that I didn't mean to oh, step on your cat. This is the right healer. Oh, you're not that other one. Oh goodness, how embarrassing. Why does this always happen to me? Who are you? Uh, before I tell you, would you mind asking a que answering a question? Go ahead. You know <laughs> you're not one of those dirty, underhanded, conniving thief types, are you? Uh I don't like the rest of that description, but I am a thief, yes. Oh, but not the kind that would steal the gold feelings from your grandmother's teeth while she's still talking? <laughs> it's not like she needed them anymore. Uh, no. I've had nothing but problems with irritating, despicable thieves ever since I left. That's not important right now. Let me introduce myself. Okay. My name is Lanu Lanirial, a devout priest of Sh 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 Sahine, Sahine Moonbo. I'm terrible with these names, sorry. I seek to continue my adventures by hiring myself out as a healer. Why are there big... Wait, she's a priest, right? Yeah. It's probably a cleric. Why are you in the barracks rather than helping the plague victims? I came to this city believing that I could stem the tide of the plague with the powers of my, my goddess. <laughs> Alas, it defied my every attempt to find a cure. I worked long, hard hours in the Temple of Tear, trying to alleviate the pain of the sick. Finally, after working through several days and nights, I was exhausted. 
When I tried to stand, I fainted. Uh-oh, what happened? Well, I fell over and bumped into a glass statue of the symbol of tear. One of the balance plates flew right across the room and smashed spectacularly right above the head of the high priest. The crash was so shocking that the priest sat down right on top of a rather large shard of the glass. Oh. Ow. I was unhurt. Well, the priest didn't seem to take too concerned about that at the time. Then I found somewhere else to help with the wounded, as if it was my fault somehow. Are you really that clumsy? I'm not really clumsy. I'm just tired. My troubles don't come from a lack of dexterity, so much as poor timing. Don't worry. I'm good in a fight and an excellent healer. Each day I've been assisting... Each day I have been assisting victims of the plague in the slums of Blackout, like their streets and go to rest and guard light. That's cool. I'm looking for a good healer. I want to trust you, and I need the work. But I really don't care how involved. But I really don't care to be involved in any shady dealings. Perhaps tell me about this mission. I work for Arabeth. That's all you need to know. I can understand that. If you were, yeah, we are. That dude said that same thing. It's work hard to combat the plague, so I can trust her instincts. Love to work for you and grieve for her price. My goal in life is to get through this with a minimum of pain, but sometimes I need money. To do that, you'll need an experienced healer. All right. She charges 150 if I persuade her. Otherwise, 200 That gives me a healer. So I like her and I like the half-orc. With her, we're not going to have as much... I mean, clerics can be tanky. And they get the ability to heal. With the big dude, I'm going to have to buy a lot of potions and work on that. So we're going to hire her. Perhaps we can meet in the middle and settle at 175 Mmm, bitch counter offered me. I did I genuinely did not see that coming. I thought 150 was locking it in. Alright, 175. You won't regret this, dear Droido. My skills are yours to command. I will follow you and perform the best of my abilities according to the orders you have given me. Anytime you wish to issue new orders, speak to me. Alright. Well, now that we're here, what's in the desk? Yoink! Observe the flame and fist. It's actually we serve, but I always heard that as observe from back in Neverwinter. All right, let's step outside here, and I'm looking over right now. We're at like 50 minutes, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here. I'm gonna take just a moment to look at the map and make a decision. Actually, where's my journal? Oh, it covered my map. Can I can I move? You? Okay, so I got the henchmen, uh, the whaling, and the water davians. That's the ongoing thing. So we go to the peninsula. The Great Tree Rescue, or the Moonstone Mask Art Theft Missions. I kind of want to do the, uh, this one. So that requires us going to the Black Lake District. So we're going to go to the Black Lake District and see what we can cause. That's the docks, peninsula. We're going to try to go to the Black Lake District. And once we get into the district that we're going to, I will, uh... Oh, treasure chest. Uh, once we get into whatever district we're going, uh, we'll cut this episode, and then I'll probably just jump straight into the next next episode and get it recorded here as well. Uh, am I going the right way? Actually, looking at the time, I got a long day at work tomorrow. Probably will wait on the next part. Uh, actually, real quick. Hey there, dear. What can I do for you? We'll talk for a while. I want to know more about you. I've been away from my home friends. I would like to get to know you too. All right, what questions do you have for me? Why did you leave your homeland? Sigh. You don't start with easy questions, do you? That's a bit of a difficult question to answer, but I will do my best. I had worked in the Temple of the Full Moon in Evreska for about six years before I left my home. I loved the peacefulness of the temple. But even there, accidents and tricks of fate made life difficult. It wasn't unusual. It wasn't usually anything big. Just me in the wrong place at the wrong time. I don't know why, but I just didn't have any luck. Well, bad luck happens to all of us one time or the other. I'm sure I've been in jail for it. It's not always bad luck, though. Sometimes I can be a little gullible. That's what got me into trouble and sent away from Evreska. Oh, you were sent away. I was collecting tithes one day when a heavily cloaked figure came begging at the temple door. He looked like a starving child, so I took him in the inner sanctum to get him some food. When I came back, he was gone. There was also something else missing. Something very precious to the church. What did he steal? Please forgive me, Droido. I could talk no more about this. 
We don't know each other well enough, and I can't share my most embarrassing moment with a stranger. No, I want to hear what you have to say. Please, Dorda, I should not have said so much. We will talk more about this later, but not now. Oh, no, 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 don't end the dialogue. There's more options I could have said. Hey, there, dear. What hey, we need to change your you? tactics. Uh, use your melee weapon. We'll change this instead. Uh, could we change how quickly you decide to heal me? Yeah. Heal me if I become wounded. Sweet. If I fail to open a locked door or chest, do not assist me. <laughs> Just as well, really. I'm not very good at it. Uh, oh, we're good. Okay, cool. Well, let's get over here to this district. What is that? That's green. Oh, that's her. Refugee shelter, city gate. Guard, let me in. Hello. The Wailings caused its fair share of conflict beyond these gates, lad, making it a dangerous place. Lady Arabeth has ordered us to restrict access. In other words, if you want access to the Black Lake District, you're going to need to get quarantine, quarantine clearance. Understood? Lady Arabeth has assigned me to temporary militia duty. Aye, there was word she'd be hiring on adventurers to help fill the ranks. What can I do for you then? I, I, I want in the Black Lake District. So I can tell you the Black Lake. That's a question for you, lad. Go on ahead. Uh, is there any way I can help out in there? Well, best bet you walk, talk to a guard in the area. Past my gate's a bit of a slum, but if you keep going, you'll reach Black Lake Gate. Other side of that's where Black Lake Gate Guard will be stationed. Maybe he'll have a better idea of what'll help you out. Be careful on the way in, though. There's a burnt-out bit of the city between here and the Black Lake proper. Nothing but plague-crazed thugs in there. Black Lake is fine, but the first bit's dangerous as hell. Something else you want to know? Uh, now we're good. Yes, yes. On your way, then. Let's go in. Sweet, he let me in. I thought he was going to, like, stop me or some shit. Kandarin, what do you want? Hey there. Please, can you help me? I don't know what to do. What's wrong? My name is Kandarin. Or Cinderin. I'm going to say Kandarin. And everything has gone wrong. This whole area is overrun by the... And those bastards in the Black Lake don't care. They've locked themselves away, abandoning the whole place. This isn't the Black Lake? Tell me about this area, then. No, this isn't the Black Lake District. Black Lake is up ahead, past the gate and the guards. The nobles barricaded themselves in just after the plague started. This area is where the servant community lives. Lived. We worked for the nobles all day and returned to our homes here at night. That actually makes sense. I guess they thought it wasn't worth the risk of trying to protect us from the plague, too. Left us to the plague thugs. Now everything is gone. So how do I get in the Black Lake? Well, you just, you just go on up past the gate at the opposite end you enter from the city core. But you'll stay and help first, right, won't you? Please, I've got nowhere else to turn. I just want the monster responsible to get what's coming to him. Monster? Oh, what do you mean by monster? After the wailing began, we caught between the quarantine and Black Lake barricades. We were the mercy of the plague thugs. Some of them used to be friends, but the plague took their minds, drove them mad. They became like animals. Then Loxar showed up. Hmm, tell me about Loxar. Loxar is a big half-orc. Not sure where he comes from. He shows up. He showed up after the first few plague thugs started going mad. Hmm. He showed up right after the plague, huh? That's questionable. Loxar looted in their wake. After a while, when the place was disrupted, he just started killing people and taking what he wanted. I think you realize the guards don't care about us here. I think I'm one of the last survivors. I have no reason to stay. He's killed my family, taken everything. I just want to know he's dead before I try to get to the city core. Alright, well... Black Lake guards wouldn't help you? Nobody cares about us servants. Black Lake nobles barricaded themselves up. As long as nobody gets near the barricade, they don't care. What do they care if some peasants lose their lives? Pfft, I ain't ever working for them again. Well, I'll see what I can do, but I make no promises. Y you will? Thank you. Blokes are in his no man's land somewhere. He's pretty much taking whatever houses he wants to. And there's still mad plague thugs around. Plague mad thugs around. Please be careful. You're the first person to give a damn about anything that's happened here. Thank you. Hush, bullet. He's wanting me to finish this episode too, apparently. All right, in dialogue. And that is a good point to end on. We will... We will uh, end that here. Uh, next episode, we'll be rolling through the Black Lake District. 
finding out what's going on with the uh, the animals. But first, we gotta deal with the Lokasar. So, be sure to make comments below. Uh, definitely give the video a thumbs up if you like where it's going so far. Where you'd like to see this particular uh, series go. And, <laughs> bullet? Knocking over boxes. My dog is over here, like, jumping around in some boxes I have sitting around. You wanna come say hi to everyone? You wanna say hi? Nope. Alright. You gonna talk? You gonna talk? I, I need to get a camera, a face cam set up so you can see my boy. Anyhow, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, all that. Follow on Twitter. Uh, I've uploaded the last video and realized that I uploaded the raw data version and not the edited version. So that's also recently gone up, and this should show up not long after that, but the episode was recorded a bit, uh, a bit while ago. And these episodes are only gonna come up every few days, maybe two, three times a week. Uh, as long as StarCraft is going on. But we're coming along pretty quick in StarCraft, and we're getting into StarCraft 2. Uh, hopefully soon. I'm pretty much at the end of the Protoss campaign at the time of this recording. So, or not Protoss, uh, the Terran campaign leading into the Zerg campaign. So, we're, uh, we're making our way. We'll have a little bit of everything going on. But yeah, follow along, share with your friends, get as many people here as we can. Uh, I looked where like 7,500... Uh, I think views or likes on the channel, I forget which it was, uh, 74, 75 subscribers, so we're growing up and that's really cool, uh, but yeah, meanwhile, until the next episode comes out, you all continue to have fantastic days, and until next time, take care.